see what we can find. Join my search for the incredible animals living in Bolsa Chica Ecological Preserve. This preserve is made up of what is known as brackish water, which is a mixture of fresh water coming from Winnersburg Channel up at the top and some salt water that is going to flow in directly from the ocean under the PCH. Here you can see one of the creatures that swam in with that ocean water. This is a round stingray. They're very friendly bottom feeders. Here's a nice look at a double crested cormorant. These birds love to swim around underwater to find food. Beautiful willets are known to actually mate with one another for multiple years running and always return to the same nesting site during that period. Look at how his neck is all folded up. These are the prey items that bring many of these birds to this preserve. The white pelican works in groups when feeding, circling fish into a tight area, making it much easier for each individual pelican to feed. As you can see, when it's in its winter plumage, it's not going to have that black belly like it normally does. You can see this bird almost all over the North American continent. The great egret, an incredible bird that has a very unique neck structure. As you can see, it's almost double jointed here, which is going to use to slash that neck down towards the water to grab food. During courtship, this bird will occasionally hold sticks in its mouth and shake them around to impress its mate. The great blue heron has a similar neck design to the great egret. This little bird flies all the way up to northern Canada to breed. During the breeding season, male marbled godwits will occupy territories of 200 acres or more and circle them trying to attract a mate. Pay attention to my friend's hunting strategy. Oh, I'll be quiet, keep hunting. You can see he's using his foot to stir up the mud and hopefully make those prey items move. That didn't work, so now he's trying a slightly different hunting strategy. If you want to talk about a swing and a miss, Caspian turns dive a hundred times before they catch a fish. Curlews will often hunt in groups, lining up wing to wing and walking together to flush out prey. Pay attention to how different all of these birds' beaks are, and think what it might mean for what they're eating. To survive the desert sun, these beetles have fused their shell together and given up the ability to fly. This wasp paralyzes its target so that it can eat it alive. Here's a quick look at the savanna sparrow in its favorite habitat. Let's see, it looks like he got something that time. He managed to snag a little baby halibut. Of course, he has to fly around and show off his catch to all the other Caspian terns before he can eat it. If you look closely, you can see that he's actually stabbed his bottom bill through the center of the fish. Kind of an interesting strategy. I wonder how he's gonna swallow it down. Sagebrush lizards are very territorial about their sunning spots. Notice how he does some quick push-ups to mark this as his rock. Just like me, side blotch lizards love sandy areas right next to the beach. This wasp is looking for a spider to paralyze and lay its eggs inside of. Snowy egrets can be very territorial when they're around their nest, but when they're foraging, they don't mind sharing the same area with other species of birds. Wow, look at the size of these great blue heron offspring. And remember that the parrots have to feed them by regurgitating food. That's a lot of fish you gotta throw up for these big old babies. These fish-eating hawks look like they're in a western. 
Other than humans, this is the easiest to spot mammal at Bolsa Chica. You can't win a game of hide and seek with the Savannah Sparrow. Always be thinking about how those different shaped beaks allow for very different hunting strategies. Whoa, look at this feeding frenzy. There are some very unlucky fish down there. This snowy egret thinks that it might have a chance to get some of those fish as well. Herons and egrets alike would love to feed on this shrimp. The black skimmer gets its name from its hunting strategy. It will glide over the water with its bottom bill just under the surface, and when it feels a fish, it'll grab it and swallow it down. The osprey will use its long, sharp talons to grab fish right out of the water, and then it will fly up to a perch and use its strong, sharp bill to rip pieces of the fish off and consume them. Notice the brilliant coloration present on these lizards. They're going to use this to impress their mates when it's breeding season. The feeding frenzy continues, and look, a double-crested cormoran has come to join the party. Caspian terns have a number of vocalizations that they use to communicate. Young in the nest will chirp to ask for food, and then when the parents return, they'll call out and let those hatchlings know that they have some yummy fish. They will also call to maintain contact with one another, or to signify that there's a predator in the vicinity. The brown pelican heard that there was some commotion over here, but by the time he arrived, the Caspian Terns had eaten all the fish. Bummer, guys. Watch how these Sanderlings use their skinny long beaks to grab food right out of the mud flats. When threatened by a predator, these birds will all gather together in a big ball and fly around in crazy swerving motions. During the breeding season, males will pick and defend a territory of almost 400 yards, which is crazy for such a tiny bird. This is my favorite bird at Bolsa Chica. I love the way he uses that bill to get right in under the mud flats. The great blue heron redefines patience. Here we can see the black-bellied plover in its famous plumage. Notice how the godwit's bill is slightly upturned. The savannah sparrow builds its nest deep within the bushes, only accessible through a very specific long skinny tunnel. Rather than just sitting and waiting, the reddish egret will actively chase after its prey with its wings spread to reduce glare. Even in the world of birds, there are big bullies. Come on, man, Bolsa Chica's huge. You don't have to come and stomp on his parade. Usually reddish egrets actively defend their hunting territory, but in this circumstance, this is a big, angry, great blue heron. Yeah, maybe you can find something over there. Don't worry about that bully. Thankfully, not all birds are as mean as that great blue heron. Enjoy the rest of these birds hanging out together. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helped you continue to grow your love of animals and the environment. And I want you to work with me from now on to continue to preserve this beautiful area that we have and all of these wonderful creatures. Because if we don't all work together, it's going to be impossible to keep this wonderful area and environment alive. I also want to know what you thought about the video. So head over to the Havasi website and then drop us a comment and let me know what your favorite animal was from the video and what was the most fantastic thing that you learned. Uh, I want to communicate with you and figure that all out. So I'll see you next time.